Hey guys, <clears throat> Jason here from CricketStoreOnline.com and uh, just doing another series of uh, videos as you will see here. I'm uh, going to be doing a bunch of videos here for the new 2013 Slesinger uh, Cricket Bats range. Um, so I'm just going to talk through a couple of uh, aspects of, or characteristics of the new bats um, and very excited today to be talking about the Slesinger V12 Limited Edition. Now this is a retro uh, sort of throwback um, bat, it's got a lot of the same um, sort of uh, real sort of 70s and 80s uh, design and decals on it, but obviously it's a modern day bat. Um, and you'll see the first thing that's very different is obviously the profile. The V12 had a big hump, um, you know, for the spine and the sweet spot, whereas this is a very traditional, uh, or not traditional, but more of a modern day uh, type of styling. Um, so just going to talk about some of the things that you might want to know about this limited edition V12. The main thing is there's only 200 of these going to be made worldwide for 2013. Um, and us here at Cricket Store Online, obviously, we always get the first look at things. So this is the Slazenger V12 limited edition, pardon me. And a few things you'd like to know is uh, what type of player is going to buy this bet? Well, firstly, it's a player with lots of money. It's going to be uh, definitely be around the 600 US dollar mark. Um, I think they're being sold in the UK for about 350 pounds, maybe closer to 400 pounds. Um, so this is going to be around the 600 dollar uh, mark, which means it's going to be uh, competing with bats like the uh, Gun and Moore Original Alley or even the Player Edition bats. Uh, probably more like the Player Edition bats, which are seriously limited editions. Uh, you've got the Grey Nichols Legend, uh, so type. So that's the type of bats that you're looking at. Uh, it's also, uh, Slanger say, it's for power stroke players uh, who like to attack the ball. Um, construction is Grade 1 English Willow and it's the finest 200 cliffs that Slazenger got. Um, then profile, um, it says it's a low blade but um, I'm going to go more about medium height to be honest with you. Uh, but just bouncing a ball on it. Um, certainly not not a low sweet spot like the like the Gunnamo Luna or the uh, Kookaburra Rogue or the Grey Nichols Oblivion. It's definitely a little bit higher than that. Um, handle you've got a 12 piece uh, semi uh, oval handle. Um, edge size the bats are available from two pounds eight ounces up to two pounds ten. This particular one is two ten and has 35 millimeter edges. So if you're going to be getting a two eight, you're probably going to be closer to 30 millimeter edges. Bow is just a standard bow, um, and then uh, what I actually want to do now, because of this is such a beautiful bat, um, I'm sort of halfway through the description, I'm going to actually stop here and do a uh, little photograph uh, session so you can have a good look at the bat because it really is a beauty. Such a beautiful face. I want in love, but not for myself, but for the girl, so she could, so she could love herself. Oh, my oh, next girl. girl. Thanks, uh, we're back. I uh, hope you enjoyed those photographs. Finished talking about the bat for you. Um, the, the last thing I mentioned was that the bow was a standard bow, uh, nothing too dramatic but also not too straight. Um, the toe is nicely rounded, 
Um, so when you're running in with your bat, it doesn't sort of chip or anything on the edges, so it's nice and rounded. It also doesn't have a toe guard on it, which is pretty typical from the English bat makers. Um, the weight, as I said a little bit earlier when I was talking about the edges, is you're looking at 2.8, 2.9 and 2.10. Grip is an Octo Plus. Uh, what that means is that you've got pretty typical octopus little, um, little grip pattern right at the top. But as you get lower down, that octopus actually gets bigger and bigger. Uh, almost similar to what you would find on some of the uh, Wicked, Wicked Keeper palms. Um, so that's just a slight difference. And then you've got the nice Slazinger logo down the bottom on that grip too. These are also some things you want to look for when you're looking for authentic bats. Um, and then uh, interesting fact is that these bats, according to Slazinger, on their catalog are actually pre-knocked. Um, and they're actually naked at all. It's a natural finish. So no scuff sheet or edge tape. Um, but according to them, it is pre-knocked. Uh, we will have to see uh, about that. Another awesome feature you'll see, which you would have seen in the photos, is the laser engraving. If it doesn't have this laser engraving, guys, it's not authentic. Um, and also, you would have seen from the photos, um, it's actually numbered. So this one I've got here is 000 of 200. Actually says there, and that's in the laser engraving too. So you've got laser engraving uh, serial number, so to speak. Laser engraving made in India and laser engraving the Slazinger uh, little uh, logo there. So that's just a look. Um, and just finishing off, let me bounce the ball, tap it on the ball for you here. Very nice ping. Gonna uh, be worth every penny for sure. Um, and balance and pick up. This is a 210, as I said. I would probably add another grip to it, uh, but you're looking at about a three pickup. So. Very nice bat. Thanks for watching and catch you guys later.